What does all this mean to you? Everything, and it's still very surreal, so I can't, I'm sort of trying to process it as it's happening. All right, how did it happen? How uh, did you get the part? A, an, an audition came my way. Um, one of my friends who, you know, I was a talent agent for some time, so I had friends all over in different agencies who were always looking out for me because they in knew In L.A.? I, yes. So they knew my, my real passion was, was acting and singing, and so... So you had to represent others while wanting to do what they were doing. It's like watching your boyfriend take another woman out every day. Um, I'm very grateful for that time, but um, it was difficult. So they would sort of have their feelers out, and this role came about, and they're like, Chrissy, this is a role for you. Have to audition. I'm like, I don't know. If I get the audition, okay, I'll go. And lo and behold, I got the audition, and it was a regular process, but it wasn't until the callback situation, it was like 45 minutes, I think I was in there for almost an hour with Glenn Ficar and John Riqua and uh, Dan Fogelman, and I was like, oh, if they have me hanging around, maybe they like me enough, maybe I'm on the right track. Were you a good agent? I think so. Yeah, I really loved my clients, and I knew what it meant to book a job and to want to go in an audition. And so how were you down to 81 cents? So I ended up booking American Horror Story and thought that it would be my jumping off point, but you nothing happened. Agent. Right, so I quit agenting, um, thought that like the universe was... Did you work for a big agency? Yeah, I did. I worked for two big firms, which I loved working for, um, and I... Used to represent like Ariana Grande and Dove Cameron, these like young budding stars who are mega stars now. Watch new episodes of Larry King now Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.